नमस्कार हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे एवरीवन आर मोर प्रिय अहोमबाखी राइज होकरले स्वाधीनता दिवस हर विशेष शुभ कामना वी गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस फ्रॉम द ब्रिटिश लॉन्ग टाइम बैक बट शुड वी स्टॉप देयर और शुड वी मूव ऑन एंड ब्रेक फ्री द चेंज व्हिच होल्ड अस इनटू केजेस सो आई रियली वांटेड टू नो व्हाट डज इंडिपेंडेंस मीन टू अदर्स बट ड्यू टू कोविड-19 आई कुड नॉट गेट एनीबॉडी एल्स देन माय फैमिली So let's check out what independence mean to them. Mate, jibana sokole bisayate sadhinata to ase. Happy independence day to all. Equality. For me, independence means having a choice. Choice to who I want to be, what I want to be and whom I want to be with. Mon mote sadhinata mane moi ji kono kam sadhin bhabe kori bhal pa aru ji kono निजे बेलेगे मूक बाधा निदिले मैं बेसि भल पाँ मैं निजर मत भल और निजर मत कम भल पाँच मैं भाव फर मी इंडिपेन्डेन्स मीन्स ब्रेकिंग फ्री फ्रम अल देंज फ्रीडम फ्रम पेट्रियार्की फ्रीडम फ्रम कम्यूनिजम फ्रीडम फ्रम रेसिज फ्रीडम फ्रम ट्रांसफोविया एंड अल सर्ट अफ हेट्रेड एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड इंजस्ट So let's be free in our true sense and stand up for what we believe. I shall take this opportunity to talk about the history of Assam and its independence. In the earliest recorded times, Assam was part of Kamrupa Kingdom that had its capital at Pragjyotishpura. Assam was ruled by various dynasties such as the Pala, Kuz, Kosari and Sutia. There was constant warfare among them. In the 15th century the Ahoms were the dominant in power in the upper Assam. 2 centuries later they defeated the Kuz, Kosari and other local rulers to gain control of lower Assam to Gualpara. In the 18th century the kingdom was occupied by warriors from Myanmar. And so Gorinath Sinha had to sought aid from Calcutta which by that time had become the capital of British India. After that peace was restored with the help of British India but in the year 1817 forces from Myanmar entered Assam in response the british ultimately drove out the invaders and the treaty of yandubu was concluded in 1828 and assam became a part of the british india in 1838 the area was incorporated into british administered bengal by 1842 whole of brahmaputra valley came under the british rule a separate province of assam was created in 1874 with its capital at shillong in 1905 bengal was partitioned and assam was amalgamated with eastern bengal which created such resentment that in 1912 bengal was reunited and assam was once more made a separate province With the partition of India the district of Silhet excluding the Karimganj subdivision was ceded to Pakistan and Assam became a constituent state of India in 1950 Between the early 1960s and 70s Assam lost much of its territory to new states that emerged from within its borders Now with time communal tensions led to Assam movement against illegal immigrants from Bangladesh This led to the emergence of Alpha where they waged various guerrilla wars against the state for outright secession of Assam from India. It also resulted in emergence of more separatist movements from various other groups such as the Boro militants, the Adivasi militants and so on. However, in January 2020, officials signed an agreement with Boro militants and recognized an autonomous Boroland territorial region within Assam. The government is hoping for Alpha to join the ongoing negotiation for a permanent agreement. So that was it for today. Happy Independence Day everyone. Break those chains. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment below what independence means to you. Like comment and subscribe to my channel Pura kuch sochne to de ha kuch nahi dilata question please stay with